What it is, what it do, it's your homie, it's your main man, Build a Go, and I'm back again with another damn video, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got two special guests with me, if you guys, you know, want to introduce yourselves, man. What's happening, man? It's Dank G in the building, y'all already know what time it is, it's a whole lot of gang shit. So low-key, nigga. <laughs> What's good, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> But John, man, John Wong, man. Okay, okay, okay. What's good, with y'all? Big family shit. shit. Man, on. this is his first video, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, more to come. This is probably what, oh, damn, 10th video and Touch shit. Me. More to come. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what we about to do is, we about to, I'm not going to say album review. We Let's say an album reaction. I want to get everybody, like, real opinion about this album. There's seven tracks to it. The new Kanye album is called Ye. Uh, no, what I want to say is, um, I seen people talking about it. I seen the album cover. Um, basically, I, I feel like he said, "I hate being bipolar. It's awesome." He took the picture itself. He made his own album. Wait, cover. what? Wait, what did he say? The it, that's what it said on the oh. album cover. I he, hate being bipolar. <laughs> I hate being bipolar. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Oh, I get it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, that basically like a contradiction mm -hmm. and all that bullshit. But we gonna go ahead and get into the first song. If you guys like the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more album reactions or whatever, or album reviews, uh, man, let me know in the comment section below, man. But we gonna go ahead and get into the first song. The first track is called "I Thought About Killing You." I thought about killing you. That's a Kim Kardashian. <laughs> a diss. <laughs> Pusha T got me because that's part. <laughs> So, I thought about killing you. We gonna go ahead and listen to you know the whole thing, but you know I'm not for the do the whole pause and all that other shit. That's only for videos. So you know I'm gonna you know get a little snippet. You gonna hear a little snippet from us, but we gonna be listening to the whole song. So let's go ahead and get into it. I like the beat. It's so far, yeah. it's like a Drake type beat. So that was a song I thought about killing you. Let me hear y'all what y'all got to say right now. Uh, I liked it. It's interesting. It's different. It's weird. You could tell he being a lot more vulnerable now. Like he done been through some like therapy and shit. I fuck with it. You, my take my picture. I like to switch up, switch up in the beats. He went crazy with that and the little voice thingy. He definitely went crazy with that. But. I wouldn't expect nothing less from Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be yeah, honest. Was cool. Yeah, um, in my opinion, <coughs> I, I fucks with the song. You know what I'm saying? Like like you said with the spoken word shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 but like you said with the spoken word shit, I fucks with it. And also the, what you said with the switch up and shit. Like, it went from a, a calm beat to a mild manner beat to like some fucking vicious shit. Like, my nigga, I'm, I'm spitting this shit. Damn near the beat was damn near bipolar. Yeah. That yeah, song <laughs> damn was crazy. bipolar. Low key. And I, I feel like, I think he produced all his beats, too. Yeah. I feel I like, I think he produced and directed most of his shit. I had to. So, that's what we feel about, you know, I thought about killing you. That's the first track. Second track is Yikes. Uh, man, I, I really want to hear this shit. It, nigga ain't gonna make no song called Yikes if it's not gonna be scary you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and get into the shit man she could get menacing frightening find help sometimes i scare myself myself she could get menacing right i'm a superhero You know, concludes the <laughs> song Yikes. Go ahead, get y'all niggas opinion before I talk. Uh, like Vontae said, he pulled a lot of different, like, skills and shit from different songs I fucked with. It was kind of like a flex song, but at the same time, he still remained, like, raw and vulnerable. So I fucked with this shit, too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. He definitely switched it up again. The second song is a turned ass song. I would definitely shoot to this song. Like it's definitely a turn up song. Yeah, it's um to me, yeah, this shit was literally yikes, bro. It's some scary ass shit from this nigga. Like, now I don't know, oh man, this shit is terrible. Why did this nigga make it? I'm talking about like this nigga went fucking nuts on this shit. Like, um 
drugs or non drugs, whatever he's on or whatever he's not on, <laughs> this nigga is a genius, bro. Yeah, he amazing. I, yeah, this nigga, this nigga name will never not be relevant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean that you know like I said, yikes. I fucks with the song. Um, next song is All Mine. I believe this is like the third song. Um, two minutes. He he doing two minute songs now. You know, Kanye never do two or three minute songs like that, so let's go ahead and get right into it though. Three <laughs> 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 guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me y'all what y'all got. Chris have a new mama got a that shit in your whip. Yeah, that's the shit that you bump for real. What you let, let, let me see what you got to, what else you gotta say? I wanna hear this. Well, okay. <laughs> Don't it might be a stretch. Okay. But I feel like these are all the Kanye Wests and like from everything I heard so also, far. Before before you even my bad for interrupting. Mm -hmm. Um I believe the featuring, it, they don't show the featurings on here. Mm -hmm. They probably show it on like an extended, like, you know, like you, if you really get deeply into it, like who produced mm -hmm. it, who who featured in it. Ty Dolla Sign also featured in this. That makes sense. So, exactly. but. A lot of his shit did too. Him, and I believe Jeremiah. I don't know if Jeremiah was on it. I don't know if he was doing that, unless mm -hmm. Kanye West was doing that, because they low key sign the same when they sing it sometimes. But, mm -hmm. um, what else you, I mean. Yeah, it's like. I feel like these are all his personas. Like even Vontae was saying, like this sound like wolves and this sound like something else. Like I feel like it down there is all his personas into this shit. Like mm. I feel like he playing on that bipolar shit a lot too. I like it. Vontae mm. Boston. Yeah, what? Yeah, what he doing to this album? Cause it's like a whole bunch of it's it's a whole bunch of different songs. Mm. What he doing to this album right now is what Kendrick Lamar did to Damn. Is what Travis Scott did to uh, Birds in the Trap scene, McKnight, on everything. That's that that's the type of vibe it's giving. It's like all new stuff. Like he just keeps switching it up, and like it's it's enjoyable to listen to, so far. Yeah, it, I definitely um, can understand where both of them are coming from. Um, what I want to say, or like my favorite part where he said, um, what did he say? Fuck without an outcome. And then we would not be here without come. That shit crazy. He said he would fuck and would not care about the outcome. Basically, like, you know, don't care if I, I get this bitch pregnant. Like, yep. nigga, I'm giving the whole baby out, nigga. Like, I'm Kanye West. Nigga, like, in there. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian and all that shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that concludes the song, All My. We're going to go ahead and get into the next song, Won't Leave. Uh, like I said, it's only like two, three minutes. Like I said, that's weird by Kanye. But I know Kanye bring out three minutes on. You know what I feel like? This album is is like it's a mix of Pablo and and you know Jesus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what he on right now. That that's what I feel like. And my beautiful twisted dark fantasy. It's mm -hmm. it's all that put together in three, and then you put and you bring out this. You just birth this shit. So basically. Them three albums just had a whole threesome, oh. and now <laughs> they're coming out with this album right here. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into the next song, Won't Leave. Let's go ahead and listen to this shit. I right don't there. feel that she's body though. Young Thug. Okay, that concludes the song, Won't Leave by Kanye West. Um, I, I believe featuring, who was that? Young Thug, mm -hmm. and also uh, Young Thug. You said Jeremiah. And the American <laughs> Dream. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was either Jeremiah, the American Dream, and then a little bit of Ty Dolla Sign and that shit too. Now, what do you guys think? I'm gonna just, you know, go mm -hmm. with you, Dan, Vontae, and all. It was therapeutic. It mm -hmm. was a letter to his wife down there. Shout out to the, you know, girls. Or, right, you know, let me let me say this. My bad for interrupting you. Shout out to the people that actually support their own, you know what I'm saying? Like, during their struggles of times, whoever you are, we appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? But you can continue, sorry. And uh, the slavery is a choice thing. I, oh, noticed, shit. I, I, I noticed he said that shit. I don't really know. I'm thinking he talking about mental slavery. It's, it could be a lot of shit though. So yeah, I feel like um, the reason he brought that up um, because like he like they said when he said that shit, they they thought they was gonna lose everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From what he said, like his own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I can't believe you will literally. Well, he think like, oh, Adidas. That's what Kim thought. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She like, 
Oh, they could have take all your sponsorships. They could have take you know your clothing line and all this other shit because you said this shit on television. national television. Yep. But I mean, you see where he at now. This nigga yep. just made a whole album. I think he made this album in a matter of a month, low key, because he bringing up relevant shit. Like damn near yesterday. <laughs> Man, low shit key. That's happening. Like that happened the, the, the IT type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Snip, snip, snip. <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> But um, what you gotta say about the song "Won't Leave"? Yeah, it was or a, "Won't Leave"? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a song dedicated to that special someone in your life. Yeah, and and then they talk and then they talk about like all the stuff that females go through, and he was talking about his struggles through life with his wife and saying like he was saying like Will was talking about Jonathan was talking about he was just uh, thought he was gonna lose all his sponsorships and stuff because he, because he spoke his opinion. Of course. Yeah, that's about it. I like the song. It's it's a song for the ladies. It's yeah, the, it's definitely a song that's you know for the women that supports their own like supports them throughout the struggles and mm -hmm. shit. Um, next song, no mistakes, man. Uh, I wonder if it become. I thought about killing you. Yikes! All mine wouldn't leave. No mistakes. Ghost town by the crimes. I thought it was gonna make a whole sentence or something like that. Like how Young Dolph did. Remember Young Dolph did that shit. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get into the song. No Mistakes by Kanye West. Believe it or not. It's cold. Turn it off. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no no mistakes. You hear that? I mean, I the Believe It or Not. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. That I concludes the song No Mistakes, man. I want to hear you guys' opinion about it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. It was soulful, man. Mm. Fuck with it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, he threw a Slick Rick sample in there mm. uh, from Hey Young World. It's an old song by Slick Rick. That believe it or not, yeah, that's an old Slick Rick song. My dad put me on that. Believe it or not, damn. Yeah, and then, 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 then you add the then you add the boy Charlie. And he had Charlie doing the vocals like he's doing crazy. Basically no telling his wife that he still love her. Yeah. Right, after what she did, <laughs> being a little hope. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess and let me let me to me, I feel like yeah, he went nuts. I like the samples. You know, I'm glad Vontae here. You know, to you know teach me about that old shit because y'all both know YouTube guys know a lot about old school music or just music period. You know, I'm in that like new generation R -R shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like. I mean, I'm glad, you know, both of them are here in order for me to actually understand the type of, you know, samples that these niggas are really using. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, like I said, this nigga's a genius, bro. He's a sample god and also an instrumental god, too, bro, producing-wise. But, yeah, it's just a song about, you know, making no, you know, don't make these mistakes again. You know what I'm saying? You learn from them and you, you know, you make yourself a better person and all that shit. And you add the boy Charlie on the vocals. You can't add the boy Charlie. You know the, you know the shit gonna be a hit when Charlie is on the beat. You know Definitely what I'm saying? Definitely every time. But, um, to conclude that, man, we gonna go ahead and get into the next song. I believe this is the second to last. Yes, it is. It's called Ghost Town. We gonna go ahead and get right into it, man. Someday. I like songs like this. So he used some, some of that old school western shit. You know what I'm Kid Cudi make me wanna cry, bro. <laughs> Literally. What the fuck? All we gotta do is go. Bro, that shit crazy. Okay, that concludes the song Ghost Town, I believe. Yes. That concludes the song Ghost Town. I wanna hear you, you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. Man, I just got lost in the song. I was gonna start closing my eyes on and out. But it's it's dope. It's nice. The production is amazing. Like Vontae said earlier, I expected nothing less from Cudi. No bullshit. Yes. Dante? Yeah. <laughs> this definitely one of my new smoking songs. Yes. For real. That song was vibey, dude. I like that song. Then he put Kid Cudi on it. Yeah. And it was pretty much just saying, like, like you, like, you can grow up. You still got to be an adult and grow up and be responsible and all that. But still, learn how to have fun like you did when you was a kid. Mm -hmm. And everything. Facts, my nigga. Facts. Um, I like the song, bro. That nigga kid cut it, bro. I can't wait till these niggas album come out, bro. Like, this shit about to be so fucking lit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, this is the second to the last song. This is album of the year. 
Damn, I'm, putting this at a, I, I'm putting this yeah, at a high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right it's now. Top in the charts. I ain't heard nothing better than it. Yeah, I, if and if he don't get if he don't get the credit that he need to get for this shit, bro. I'm not fucking with society no more. I'm done with these niggas, bro. Cause if if these niggas don't give him his props, bro, this nigga is going through a whole fucking different life. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like a different life, bro. Like this nigga is not in reality no more. This nigga is in a on a different planet right now. Real shit, bro. I I wouldn't expect less from this nigga either, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeezus was cold, bro. I don't know what niggas was thinking, bro. What was that in 2011, 2012? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, Pablo, all that shit, bro. All that shit was cold, you gotta bro. Be open minded. Yeah, you That's, definitely got if to. If you close minded, you're not going. You have to poop these <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> when motherfuckers be like, man, I miss the old Kanye. I be like, yeah, you do, but at the same time, this this nigga was. He's a changed person. Everybody changes, bro. Yeah. You, you gotta change, you bro. You know what I'm saying? You you can never say the same, bro. You have to change. Like, I don't know, bro, but we're gonna go ahead and get into the last song. It's called Violent Crimes. I really wanna hear what this nigga has to say about this shit because no song should be made like this if there's not if there's nothing going on in society. If he's not talking about society, bro, he probably talking about some shit in his head. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, man. This is the last song as well. Hi. So. That's it. That was, that, my friends, was Violent Crimes, and that, my friends, once again, was the whole album, yay. I'm, before you clap, I want to I wanna hear your opinion about Violent Crimes first, and then we're going to get into the whole album. Oof. Mm. Oof. He basically gave you his heart in his brain and just put it into the music like that's basically what he did just it's raw it ain't, it ain't no fronting or nothing it's just what it is that's what i got for him and it was damn <laughs> violent crimes yeah he end, yeah he ended it with two smooth and vibey songs as you can just chill and relax too and you, you really gotta get something from it like because like when everybody listen to music they get their own interpretation from the song. Like, like when they listen to drill music, they be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm finna go do that shit now, or I'm not finna go do that shit. I'm just gonna take the vibe of the music and listen to the, to the yeah, listen to the good shit in the music. Mm-hmm. Now, my opinion on the song, and then, you know, my next opinion on the album. Now, um, Violent Crimes, I see where you're coming from. I understand. He's definitely talking about his daughter. I, I think, do he have two daughters now? I don't know if he got two. I know he, he got, got two twins. He got, he, yeah. got, he, got, he got a oh, he, set of twins, and then he got a daughter in Northwest. That sounds That's right. Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, that is. Northwest? Yeah. It's the, the set of twins. Oh, the twins? I thought like? she had two set of twins as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, she only got the son. Yeah. Like Southwest or something like that? Yeah, I'm tripping. Okay, okay. So, basically, he's explaining all this shit, like what's going on. And the reason why he's saying... I'm gonna just say that the n-word. So why the reason why he's saying the n-word is because he's talking in a, a plural as um, as men, or basically, mm-hmm. um, you know, he's just explaining himself like, man, I'm, I'm I'm scared to see my daughter to get like curves like Kim K and shit, and motherfuckers be out here doing like dumbass shit, threatening her and all this other shit because like like they say, niggas is pervs out here. It's so much shit going on in the world. And motherfuckers is pervs on the internet and shit. Yeah. And, you know, he just don't want to see his daughter, um, you know, just waste her life. You know what I mean? So, um, basically want to have her be become a woman instead of a, a girl. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be a girl. Become a woman. That's what I want you to be. And, and basically what he was talking about when he said he won't her body to be like his is because then motherfuckers won't be attracted to her mm-hmm. and then like but what if she don't feel good about her own body right. you know what i'm saying so it's basically like a contradiction of self but i understand where he coming from and if i you know also had a daughter i would be so protective as well and you know motherfuckers getting abused out here and all this other shit like I, like they say bro if you if you have anybody that's you know are, you know in an abusive relationship you know call it hotline and all that other shit man mm-hmm. i don't got time for that shit dog like if I ever see, you know, my daughter getting beat up, of course, that nigga getting beat up off top, bro. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? My daughter ain't Of course, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because 
he like you know not to put his business out here he also has a daughter and all that shit bro and like you know i, I consider that as my family as well because you know i've been knowing these niggas for multiple years you know what i'm saying yeah. almost a whole decade and shit so you know what I'm saying? His daughter is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to protect her either way it go, bro. I don't give no fuck, you know, if he, you know, God bless his soul and all that shit. If he, you know, damn, my nigga, I'm still taking care of her regardless, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? As long as the mother want me into that daughter's life. But to me, I, I'm going to give that nigga a round of applause, bro, to, to explain all that shit. Um, I, I got to give that nigga a... Big props, man. I know he's going through a lot, bro. You know, with all his, like he said, he got bipolar. And, you know, he became a drug addict and shit. But, like, he's becoming a better person. Um, you you won't get that old yay back. But you're going to get a new improved yay. Yeah. You know what I mean? He will learn from his mistakes where he was in the old yay. Now he's becoming a new yay. I, I appreciate all the music that Kanye brings out. The man will never not be relevant, like I said. Um, to me, this is damn near album of the year. Um... If if I ever got a chance to meet Kanye, bro, it, it would be a blessing, bro. Like to to be honest, like that's a rare celebrity, especially as our skin tone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yay, the album rating, I give it a nine, nine point five. The reason why I ain't gonna give it a ten, I'm not gonna be as easy as on any other nigga. But like, I really do appreciate the album. Anybody got a rating for it? Same. Same. Nine point five. Nine point five. So, shit, man. Hey, this concludes the album review or album reaction. If you guys like these videos, if you guys, you know, just let me know what album do you want me, you know, us guys to react to because I will still bring them. If you guys want these people back up in here, of course, they're they going to be here regardless. I don't give no fuck if you don't want them up in here. <laughs> I don't the fuck them games, no. <laughs> so, so, man, if you guys like the video, man, please like, share, comment, subscribe, man. This your homie, it's your main man, Build a Goat. Both of their socials will be in the description below, man. And we gone, man. Peace. Peace and love. Gang. Mm -hmm. I love that album, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is fire.